All right, welcome back. So what I want to show you here is, let's take a look at our site again. And things are looking pretty good. We've got, you know, edit and delete, not showing up here, but it's showing down here. And then these buttons here are not showing because we don't own this article. Let's go into our application. And I want to show you why we have to set up the controller with those bits of code. So let's open up our two controller files here. The first one is the articles controller, and the second one is the comments controller. So what I'm going to do in the articles controller is roll down here to the update, and just before the authorize, let's add a hashtag. So I'm hitting shift and then number three, like that. And then down here under the destroy, I'll show you the same thing. You can just highlight the line and then hit control question mark. And it does the same thing, right? And then in our comments, what we want to do is at the top, let's highlight these two lines of code here. I'm just hitting control question mark. And that just comments them out. And then we have the my sanitizer and the private. We'll just grab all this code like that, control, question mark. So now it's as if this stuff in the controllers doesn't exist. So let's go back now to the site. Let's refresh. And nothing's going to change because, remember, we've set this up in the views in the show page and then also the comments uh, partial. Let's take a look at this comment that we created with user number one, right? We're logged in, by the way, as user number one. Let's click edit. So here's the comment, and you can see this is comment number two, and it's uh, from article number two, comments two. What if I was to go up here and just say one, like so, and then press enter? Here it says user2 says hi. So I'm actually editing user2's comment, but I'm logged in as user number one. So that's not really cool, right? So you can see here that because the controller isn't handling any of this, our views are only our views. So those buttons are being filtered out, but if somebody wants to go play around with our URLs, they can get in and mess things up and put comments on things they don't own. The same is true with the article. So let's click on user 2's article. Now there's no edit or destroy down here, but what if I went up here and I just put a forward slash edit? There it is. I can edit this article. So that's why it's important that we do this also on the controller. Let's go back in now and uncomment the stuff that we commented out. So I'm just hitting control question mark on all these, just highlighting them. Okay. And we've got one more line in here. I'm in the articles controller. And then under the update, and then in the comments controller, I can control question mark. And then up at the top, these two lines of code here. Let's go back now and try that and see what happens. So let's go into our article. And we can see down here that we can edit this. And let's go up here to where this says number three and change it to number two. And that's working and it should not be working. Do we put our code in the edit? Let me just check here. Articles controller, there's edit, edit. How about grab this authorize under update and it should also go under edit as well. Like that. 
and we shouldn't be able to view this now. So if I just go in here and hit enter, we're going to get an error. Yes. So can can access denied. You are not authorized to access this page. That's working now. And let's take a look at our comments. So we can see here that this was made by user two. Let's click on edit comment here. And let's try to go to comment number one. There we go. Now, the way we're going to get around this, can can access denied, by the way, what I mean by get around it, we don't want our users get, getting around this, but we don't want users to see this kind of error, is we're going to do a rescue. And we talked about this way back. so. There's an exception handling here. So in our application controller, we want to add some code like this. And I've already done that, and I'm going to leave it in the notes. It's exactly like this, pretty much, just a couple of modifications. So if we go back here to the application controller, you can see I got it in here, and it's commented out. So I'm going to uncomment it. So we're just saying rescue from this access denied deal here. And what we're going to do is redirect them to the root path because we don't want them, you know, in the articles or anything like that. We just want to get them out of there and then flash a danger message. And I've chosen to say, sorry, you're not authorized to access this area. And I'm going to leave this in the notes for you. And that's in the application controller. Okay. So our main controller. So let's go back now and just refresh. There we go. So you can see the message and let's go back in to the second user. And let's change this to one and press enter. There we go. So it redirected us to the root and gave us our red scary looking uh, flash message there. So if we want now to check out about the articles, let's go into user two's, let's go to user one article here and let's go to the edit and let's go up here and let's say number two. And this, this might be different for you depending on how many articles you've created and what have you. So I think I deleted one of my articles off camera. So yours might be one and two where I have three actually, I think. So let's see what happens here. Yeah. So you can see I only got two articles, but for some reason I'm on the third one and I can't remember why. Anyway, that's basically it. I hope I've kind of explained this well enough for you to guys to be able to set this up on your own now. We're going to be using this gem again coming up in some of our other applications. So you're going to get a good feel for this. But I wanted to kind of go over and show you why there's the ability.rb, then there's the controllers, and then there's the views. So they're, they're all separate and maybe it seems like overkill, but you can see why because we don't want to just hide buttons from people, but they can go in and fiddle around with our URLs and do some crazy stuff to our application. All right, guys, we'll see you here coming up in the next video. Thanks.